start to the morning. And one last look off this view. Day 12 of my uh, Appalachian Trail hike. Pennsylvania 325. Got to go up there on top of that ridge. Come from that way. Sure, what these are. They're really a pretty flower, though. A bush or whatever. Almost looks a little like blackberry in a way, but there's no thorns. I don't know what it is. Just nice. Smells good. Ten point eight miles to. Rosh Gap, Rosh Gap, uh, probably not saying that right. Shelter. That away. I know a trail going up through here. Oh, a nice little creek on the way up. It's got a kind of unique stone bridge over it. I like that. I wonder if it was there naturally or. Some strong guy or guys put it that way. I think that'd be heavy. Later. Well, had a rocky trail off and on with some stone steps. And I'm still going up this ridge, but it turned into an old roadbed. And I just come up on the spring, which I won't drink out of because, see the red color? I think it's full of iron. Oh, I can drink it, but uh, I got plenty of water, so I'm not. And uh, you could camp here. Yeah, it looks like people have. Maybe an old turnaround up here from back in the day. Up that way we go. Fine example of Pennsylvania rocks. Just on the side of the trail. But I have went through spots of trail that went through edges of this, and it is fun. But I got a good road bed. I finally made it to the top of the ridge line. And I'm limping a little bit. My knee is bothering me. An old injury. Take some medicine, maybe it'll settle down a little while. Uh, 8.3 miles to go today, probably. With this knee, it may not, I might not make it that far. But hopefully it'll go away here shortly. There's the old road bed. Trail. I came up. Uh, I guess that's the Horseshoe Trail, or whatever it called it. Oh yeah, Horseshoe Trail into the Horseshoe Trail, and I'm going this way. Later, really nice campsite. Just past my last video. Here's the Horseshoe Trail marker. I love the seats. Pretty cool. This been an old fire tower up here at one time years ago. I don't know if you can hear it. Machine gun fire back across the valley over there. I think there is a uh, National Guard shooting range or something like that over there. <clears throat> I think it's somebody told me it was a uh, National Guard years ago when I come through here.
here. 8.31 maybe, or 8.30. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm a little later than that. But almost 11 o'clock. Had a little early lunch back there. Felt my energy. My knees starting to feel a little better. I have a some prescription tramadol. I had to take one of them. And uh, took a Celebrex. And I took a standback powder. <laughs> Maybe I'll settle down here shortly. I twisted this knee in Vermont going around a beaver dam years ago. It hung under a root in the mud. And it bothers me sometimes. It usually it'll get a little sore and then go away as a hike. But today it just kept lingering. I think I must have turned it going down that other ridge over there. Maybe a rock just twisted it the wrong way. Just enough to get it aggravated. <clears throat> About eight miles from the uh, next shelter, I'll probably go just beyond there and camp. Oh, it sounded like a big 50 caliber opened up over there. You don't hear that sound every day. You probably can't hear it on the phone. I know I heard one last night. They were firing well into the night last night. Yeah, I'm definitely limping just a little bit, not much. But it's, I sat a while and I got up on it. It hurt bad, but uh, it's getting a little better. I had a knee brace for it. And early on, I tried to wear it, and the thing just rubbed the back of my leg raw. It irritated me. And I took it off, and I never had any other pain out of it until today. But I got rid of it back in Carlisle, trying to drop weight. I think that thing weighed about four ounces. I have to get another one at the next pit stop. Probably another three days away. I was talking to another hiker just a little while ago. He's also from Georgia. I think his name is Seneca. He's keeping about the same time as me, I think, same miles. He's also going to the next shelter. He was telling me that he thought the rocks really started or got worse up ahead somewhere. Around 501, I think, is where he, he thought they got worse at. I always thought they started down at, uh, right before Duncan to me. Of course, they get real bad in places and get better in places, but it's just a rocky state, no way around it. But I knew that when I come to it, been here before. Later. Nice campsite. Right under a good tree for shade. Stopped here just for a second to rest. It's cool under this shade hot right over there on the AT, right over there. The, uh, trail hasn't been too bad. It's been rocky off and on, but it's been kind of flat in here. There's where I come from. And Here's where I'm going. Still got a little limp. I'm getting worried about this knee. 
Might have to take a short day or something. Just let it heal a little bit. One thing about my knee hurting this bad though, I'm not noticing anything else hurting like my back or my feet or all the other things that usually hurt me. It's only my knee today. too bad but I got to keep a little bit shorter step right in here I should be uh, going pretty much at cruising speed for me but can't go any faster it fusses at me if I try to stretch out a little more So I'm kind of short stepping it to Roosh Gap. I hope I'm saying it right. Roosh, Roosh, Roosh. Something like that. Gap. Later. Okay, got an update. I'm off the AT a little bit down to a place called Yellow Springs. And my knee pain kept escalating and getting worse and worse. Uh, I met a lady up there who told me, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, like a blue blaze right there on the tree, somewhere right there, uh, that with my knee pain, if I was going to Roosh Gap, I could come down here and there's an old railroad bed that's turned into a trail and a road here. It's very level and I should be able to fly right in there, you know, without having to go over the rocks. So I come down here and it was very rugged coming down here. She didn't tell me that, of course. But by the time I got here, I just couldn't walk anymore. I mean, I, I tried to go down the road and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, Roost Gap is just right down there somewhere. But Right now, I hurt too bad to get there, so I just made camp right here. This road looks well traveled, and uh, so somebody will eventually come along if I can't move. But I've got plenty of food, plenty of water, right by a spring, and shelter's good. I got a nice campsite here, so I'm camping right on the road. So I'm gonna see how it feels in the morning, and. Uh, Maybe uh, it'll be good enough to walk on, at least to get to Roosh Gap, maybe camp there a day, and then uh, try it again after that. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, have no cell phone service here, and uh, I know there's I-81 is just uh, beyond Roosh Gap, so I may even have cell service at Roosh Gap. I don't know, but... Uh, I certainly should have near I-81, I would think. And there is hotels nearby and shuttle service, so if I have to get off the trail, I'll eventually be able to get off right here. Even if I have to stay here, I could stay here for days. I've got enough food. Uh, if I'm not hiking, I'm not burning that many calories, so the food supply is ample to, to do for a period of time. So, uh, see how it does in the morning. See ya.